This video explains how to return multiple objects in a function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example on how to create a user-defined function which returns multiple outputs. And for this, we need to specify a user-defined function, as you can see in lines 2 to 9 of the code. And within the function, we will perform a certain calculation, which creates two data objects, which are in this case called Y and C. And then, and this is the important part when you want to return multiple objects, we need to create a list within our function. And we can do that, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I specify that I want to create a list which contains our two data objects y and c that we want to return. And then I store this list in a new data object that I call out. And then I use the return function to return the list when the function is executed. So after running lines two to nine of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new function was created, which is called myFun. And now we can apply this function as you can see in line 11 of the code. So in this case, I'm applying the function to the value five and I'm storing the output of our user defined function in a new data object that I call my output. So after running line 11 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that this new data object called my output is appearing. And then in the next step in line 12, we can print the content of our output object to the RStudio console. So after running this line of code, our list containing two different output values is returned. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.